So I'm pulling up Phantom. Phantom is one of the really popular Solana web wallets. Uh, you could think of it very similar to MetaMask for the Ethereum ecosystem. Um, it has plugins for pretty much every browser. Uh, so here I am, I have it with Firefox, and I'm supposed to be able to add a Ledger wallet. Looks like it doesn't support Ledger wallets for Firefox. So let's walk through how this does work, where Ledger is supported, and what browser wallets I actually use. <laughs> So Solana covers Ledger wallets pretty well in their documentation. Um, one of the things they call out is making sure that your firmware and the software is fully up to date. Uh, you should always do that no matter which, what you're using, but you know they call it out specifically. One of the things that's out of the scope of this video is Solana CLI also supports Ledger wallets. So you can, you can use the command line for Solana and that will connect to a Ledger wallet as well. And there's a section in the wallet CLI documentation that discusses that. I'm gonna focus on browser wallets for this video. So the main elephant in the room is Phantom. Um, that's a really nice, clean user experience. Reminds you very much of the MetaMask experience from the Ethereum ecosystem. So one of the things Phantom talks about here is they don't support using a ledger with the Firefox plugin. This is very weird to me because the ledger has no problem used being used with Firefox. I use it with Firefox for many other things, but for some bizarre reason, uh, they only support uh, Chrome, Brave, and a couple other browsers. Maybe it's because they're, they're using Chromium-based browsers, but either way, it doesn't support it from Firefox. So since they don't support Firefox, let's walk through this with Chrome. So as you see in the documentation, the part that I was covering in the beginning of this video that didn't have an import uh, hardware wallet section or our connect hardware wallet section, now we see it exists in Chrome. So we're able to click that, we're able to see our ledger devices in the wallets that we already have generated and connect it. So personally, I use Firefox quite a bit. So since Phantom does not support Firefox, um, I came across Soulflare. Uh, and Soulflare is my sort of secondary wallet of choice. Uh, remember, since the tokens private keys are handled on the ledger, it doesn't really matter which wallet you use to front the device, they just need to support it and all of your assets would present themselves on whatever the user experience is for that wallet. So Soulflare is not a plugin, it's purely browser based. So every browser is able to, to use the Soulflare wallet um, and as you're authenticating things, it'll send little pop-ups, separate windows that look that send the messages to your ledger device and back and forth. Um, the user experience isn't as nice as Phantom, um, they also, I guess, don't look into the, the token API, so they don't recognize as many tokens. They don't have as many um, icons. So some of the things you'll see is you'll see the hash of uh, the token account, but they don't show you actually the, what the token is, even though technically they have access to it. So more things will present cleaner in Phantom than they do in Soulflare. But Soulflare works. So when you load your Ledger wallet with Soulflare, it actually finds all of your main wallets and all the minor derivations and shows you all of them and asks you if you wanna import them all. Most other wallets ignore a lot of this information if you haven't really initialized the wallet. Um, so it's kind of a, a clunky feel. Um, but you're still able to swap with this wallet. You're still able to, if you have NFTs, see those. You're still able to see all your tokens. So all of the base features that you wanna do with this, um, there are here. The Solona app for Ledger has a very similar problem to what I described when using Ledger with MetaMask for Ethereum. You need to enable blind sign. And enabling blind sign is a bit frustrating. So you don't get enough information to the Ledger that I think you should in order to fully validate a transaction. Um, you get some of the transact, you get the transaction hash, um, but you don't get all of the information there. Um, so that's why it's called blind sign. Um, I think that user experience is going to need to get fixed soon. You know, every like say you're doing a swap, and let's say you're doing a swap between two different token accounts that you see there. Um, you should be able to validate that the two different token accounts are are correct. The the amount that you're actually going to send. Like it should send all of that information to the ledger. So you should be able to review it right there on device so that you're not just approving what the browser sent to you. So, so just talk to this nuance for a second. 
the presentation layer, what's in the browser, what's in the wallet, theoretically could show you something different than what's sent to your ledger device. And if that happens, you're just blindly approving it. That's different than sending all of the information that was in the wallet that you were planning to approve separately to the device and then the device saying, hey, like this is the transaction and here is the metadata of the transaction, the same data that I'm gonna sign and send to the chain. Here's what it says. And it says, here's the amounts, here's the token, you know, here's the account IDs, maybe here's the potentially the swap IDs. And from there, you're actually getting the information on whether or not you're approving the right thing. Uh, and I think that can go a long way. So I think we've got to get away from having to allow blind sign, blind sign. But today, to fully use the ledger with the Solana ecosystem, blind sign has to be turned on. So this is a quick walkthrough of using the ledger with browser wallets. Like I mentioned, you can use it with CLI wallet for, for Solana as well. Um, Soulflare and Phantom aren't the only two wallets out there. They're just the two that I have the most experience with. Phantom is the main one I like to use, particularly with Chrome, since that's the only place it really works. Lastly, turn on blind sign. Otherwise, you won't be able to approve a lot of different types of transactions. More time tents on the way, more home lab stuff, more crypto stuff, more software development.